It's always good to hear Jesus beat up on the scribes and the Pharisees and all of those hypocrites because it lets the rest of us off the hook. I mean, they're the bad guys in the story, right? These harsh words, these woes that Jesus pronounces against them, well, are really not a condemnation of the bad guys in the story. In fact, the scribes and the Pharisees were also the very devout. But these words of warning that Jesus gives are meant to call them back. And these words of warning are not meant to let the rest of us off the hook, but but they're words that are challenging, but that can call our hearts back as well. Sometimes we too can get caught up on the small things and lose sight of the larger things. In the opening prayer of the Mass, it says that God has united our hearts in a single purpose. And what's the purpose that our hearts are united for? If our hearts are united to follow all the small details, that can be nice, they can be nice signs of our outward identity, but is that really the most important thing? Jesus, in these words to the Pharisees and scribes and to us, reminds us to look into the depths of our hearts and to see what that purpose is that underlies everything we do, everything we say in our lives. It's good for us continually to examine our hearts, not with anxiety and fear, but with humility and with honesty. Because if our hearts are losing that unity of purpose that God desires for us, then, then what good is everything else? St. Paul said in his letter to the Corinthians, if I speak foreign languages, if I give my body over to be burned, if I do all of these things, but I don't do them out of love, they're meaningless. I can have all of the outward observances, all of the outward trappings, but if I'm not doing these things out of love, what value is in them? In the first reading, Paul says to the Thessalonians, you know, the, Lord, the day of the Lord is coming, but don't be so shaken out of your mind to be chasing for him any place. He said, hold fast to what you've heard in writing and in the oral tradition, in the teaching of the church and in the word of scripture. Hold fast to that. And what is the constant teaching of the church? What's the constant testimony of scripture to us? That the Lord is as close to us as our neighbor. The Lord is as close to us as the circumstances in our lives today. And that the Lord comes to meet us in the concrete circumstances of life today. And in all of those details that you have to take care of today, you can do all of those things out of love. And you can meet the Lord, you can encounter the Lord, and you can let the Lord draw you to himself right where you are. It's that love, that presence of the Lord Jesus Christ that gives meaning to everything else in our lives. So these words of warning in the gospel today, they're not easy words to hear, but they're words that remind us of the the value, the meaning of our whole lives, to love in those details of life that we encounter today. The opening prayer at Mass goes on to say, in the midst of all of the uncertainties of the world, help us to be rooted in that one solid foundation. And the love of God in Jesus Christ is that solid foundation. There are so many things that are uncertain that we can't control, that we can't predict and forecast and foresee. But the one thing that is certain and unchanging is that love of God in Jesus Christ that gives meaning to all the details of our lives and that love of God in Jesus Christ that is close to us as our neighbor, is close to us as the air we breathe. He comes so close to us. He wants even to be our food, our nourishment. As we continue with this Mass, we pray that the Lord draw so close to us and breathe his love into every detail of our lives so that our hearts will be united in that unity of purpose, that we will love what he commands and that we will desire what he promises, that unfailing love poured out for us in Jesus Christ our Lord.